Good day, grade 11. This is teacher Riza, or Mom Rise, your teacher in general mathematics. Our topic for today is exponential equation, exponential function, and exponential inequality. With a learning competency, distinguishes between exponential function, exponential equation, and exponential inequality. To start our lesson, what is an exponential expression? It is a mathematical expression which contains an exponent. This expression can be written in the form a times b raised to x minus c plus d, where b is greater than 0 and b is not equal to 1. Exponential equation is an equation involving exponential expression. The base must be constant and its exponent must contain a variable. Example, 5 raised to x is equal to 25. Exponential function is a function that can be written as function of x is equal to b raised to x or y is equal to base b raised to x where the base should be greater than 0 and the base is not equal to 1. Example, function of x is equal to 5 raised to x minus 1 or y is equal to 5 raised to x minus 1. Exponential inequality is an equality that involves exponential expressions. The base must be constant and its exponent must contain a variable. Example, 2 raised to x is greater than or equal to 8. Take note that the exponential equation and exponential inequality can be solved for all values of x this will satisfy the equation or inequality while the exponential function will just show us the relationship of two variables let's try to answer this activity identify whether the given is an exponential function exponential equation exponential inequality or none of these you're going to Write your score on separate sheet of paper. Thumbs up if your answer is an exponential function. Clap your hand if your answer is an exponential equation. Give me a hug if your answer is an exponential inequality. Thumbs down if your answer is none of this. Let's start for number 1. y is equal to 4 raised to x minus 1. Thumbs up because the answer is an exponential function. Remember that y is a function of x. Number 2. 5 is greater than 25 raised to x plus 4. Give me a hug because the answer is an exponential inequality because of the greater than symbol. Number 3. 8 raised to 3x plus 1 is equal to x. Thumbs down because the answer is none of this since the base on the right expression is a variable. Number four. 100 plus 10 raised to x minus 5 is equal to 0.
clap your hand because the answer is an exponential equation. Remember that it is a mathematical expression or exponential expression with an equal sign. Number 5. Function of x is equal to 6 raised to 2 times quantity x minus 5. Thumbs up because the answer is an exponential function. Number 6, 3 raised to 6 is equal to 9 raised to 2x. Clap your hand because the answer is an exponential equation. Number 7, 6 raised to 5x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 2 raised to 2x. Give me a hug because the answer is an exponential inequality. Number 8. 3 times the quantity 15x squared is equal to y. Thumbs down because the answer is none of this. Remember that the base is a variable x and the exponent is 2. Number 9, 1.25 raised to x is equal to y. Thumbs up because the answer is an exponential function. Number 10, 1 half raised to x is less than or equal to 2. Give me a hug because the answer is an exponential inequality. Now, count your score. If your score is between or if your score is 9 to 10, you are excellent. Very good if your score is 7 to 8. Good job if you have a score of 5 to 6. Try your best if your score is 4 and below. Now, for your activity that to be answered in a separate sheet of paper, you're going to fill in each blank with appropriate mathematical symbol, which are equal, greater than, less than, less than equal or greater than equal to satisfy the given exponential expression in each item. For number one, it is an exponential equation. 36 raised to x plus 1 is blank to 6 raised to x. Number two, is an exponential function. y is blank to 27 raised to x plus 5. Number 3 is an exponential inequality. 9 is blank to 81 raised to x plus 5. For exercises 2, you're going to determine whether the given expression in each item is an exponential equation. You're going to write EE. If your answer is an exponential inequality, you're going to write EI. If your answer is exponential function, write EF. Or, if your answer is none of the above, you're going to write NA. Number 1. Function of x is equal to 3 raised to x. 
Number 2, 125 raised to x plus 1 is equal to 5 raised to x. Number 3, 1 over 25 is equal to 5 raised to x. Number 4, 81 is less than or equal to 3 raised to x minus 2. Number 5, 2 raised to 2 minus x is greater than or equal to 8 raised to 6x. Number 6, y is equal to 3 over 5 raised to 4 minus 2x. Number 7, function of x is equal to 25 raised to 2x. Number 8, function of x is equal to 3 raised to 3x. Number 9, 5 raised to x is equal to 125 raised to 2x. And number 10 is function of x is equal to 1 raised to negative x. And for exercise number 3, you're going to evaluate the given expression inside the box below. Copy each expression and write this on the table according to its name. So we have for the first column is 125 raised to 3x plus 7 is equal to 25 raised to x minus 3. Next, 1 over 6 raised to 2x minus 10 is less than or equal to 1 over 216 raised to x plus 13. And 16 raised to x minus 5 is equal to 64 raised to 2x minus 3. And for the second column, y is equal to 1 over 81 raised to 3x plus 3. Next, 6 raised to 2x minus 4 is greater than or equal to 64 raised to 2x plus 3. And y is equal to 12 raised to x plus 1. And for the last column, 7 raised to 2x plus 4 is less than 49 raised to 2x minus 1. Function of x is equal to 2 raised to 3x minus 2. And the last one is 12 raised to 5x minus 1 is equal to 144 raised to x minus 6. So you're going to write all exponential function for the first column and write down all exponential equation for the second column and write all exponential inequality for the last column and that's all for our lesson for today grade 11 i hope that you understand our lesson again this is teacher riza or mom rice saying stay safe stay home and stay strong in this time of pandemic thank you and till our next lesson again goodbye